rings. By this point, it's pretty well known that fat rings will bounce. And in the video Cooking Fat by Peapot, they did demonstrate a whole range of different bounces. So I thought, what are some other bounces I could come up with with rings? Today's episode, all about the ring bounce. Juggling Laboratories! Bouncing rings is a lot different than bouncing balls. For one thing, bounce rings tend to have to be spun to get a good bounce. A fat ring needs to be a certain width to bounce. Thin rings do bounce, but it's difficult to produce something that is stable and replicatable. While it's possible to do a force bounce with a ring, it doesn't usually yield the best results. Bounce rings are very visible though, and can change orientation to create new patterns. Because they're so visible, bounce rings are great for multiplex patterns and other patterns that involve different height bounces. Combining bounces and throws can look really interesting with bounce rings. But can higher numbers be done? Answer is also yes. Four rings. Five rings. Even six, although I'm not quite there yet. Body bounces. Traps. Dribbling all can be incorporated into the bounce ring patterns. Can a ring and a ball bounce together? Again, yes. The ring and the ball can create interesting patterns by crossing through each other. But to be honest, these are just early experiments. There are so many more ideas that we played with with bounce rings that you will probably see a few more episodes of Juggling Laboratories where we can produce some more experiments. Well, we've rebounded off another episode of Juggling Laboratories. Remember, to try it yourself. To see the previous video in Juggling Laboratories, click on the box on your left. To see another juggling video, click on the right. Come on. Go ahead. Try it. Try it. Try it.